Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Driven Tech Reviews. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be attempting to replace the head unit. This is the original head unit that came from factory on my Volkswagen Sirocco with the one right here. So this is the upgraded one similar to the one uh, which I used in my Vento. So this was actually taken from a donor car because if you actually try to purchase it brand new, it's around 3,000 to 4,000 ringgit. And that's what I heard. And even uh, aftermarket ones, they are above around 1,000 ringgit to 1,005 ringgit. Uh, so pretty expensive. But the reason why it's expensive is because this supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and also supports MirrorLink as well. So this is uh, something which I actually was gifted for the Volkswagen Beetle, but I'm not installing it in the Beetle. I'm installing it in the Sirocco because I think that the Sirocco actually needs uh, a new head unit because the screen is actually kind of burnt. So that's what we'll be trying to do today. So in the Sirocco, it's pretty easy because all you need to do is actually just remove this uh, plastic frame right here with a plastic pry tool, which I just purchased. So I'm going to be using a proper tool because I do not want to go breaking the clips because I believe there's one here and then a couple more on each side. So uh, we're going to be removing this and then uh, a couple of uh, T25, I believe, uh, Torx screws. And then we should be able to get the radio out and everything should be plugged in play. Okay, so now we will try to use the one right here. So you have to just stick it in the corner right here. Try to do this. And just try to pry it out. Yes, we got it out. One more here. I'm not going to risk breaking anything out. Okay. Yeah, it's not too bad. Try to get this one here. There's a couple more here. Okay. I'm very scared of these plastic clips because, uh, you know, they're really fragile and now the parts for these cars are getting pretty hard to actually purchase. So that's how I got to work with uh, caution right here. So we're going, just working our way around this. We have one more here. Okay, here we go. What else do we have clips, I believe, inside here? What I can see. We have, oh, yes, all right. Okay, so we have actually quite a number of clips. See right here on the bottom, we have four, five, six, and we have a couple of seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's a kind of a lot of clips. And then, of course, we have ones in the center as well. Just see me try to work my way around that as well. So yeah, pretty interesting. All right, so there are four screws here. One, two, three, four. So it's similar as the one here on the new radio. One, two, three, and four. So total of four screws. Okay, let's make sure to remove it. I really hope this works because I really do want uh, Apple CarPlay. I mean, one thing Apple CarPlay on my uh, Sirocco because I do a lot of drives and uh, the car mount is starting to get in the way. All right, so we have all the screws out. Now this should be, I hope, the easy part. Okay. Oh, this is a big unit, man. It's really a big unit. Okay, so now the thing is to figure out uh, what connectors are actually behind. All right, guys, so I've actually checked this out. So you can see right here, there's a connector right here. And then a couple of cables, which I just had to unplug, I believe, and plug back to the back of my new head unit because you can actually see the difference. See how thick the old head unit is and then how slim the new head unit is. So I believe we have the same connectors. I'm not sure what is missing over here. There's only one. But this should be the same. So not sure I might just lose the radio functionality. Uh, I hope not. Uh, but anyway, I don't use the radio. I use Spotify. So anyway, we're going to be removing this connector and then try and take this out. Okay, so there's a clip here. I've actually put a cloth so I do not damage the any of the upholstery. Okay, let me figure this out. I'm just... Oh, yes. Okay. So let me just bring you guys for a closer look at those two cables so you can see right here. These cables are kind of different. But we will try to just uh, plug it into the new head unit and see whether it actually works with one side alone. Because this has actually a USB port 
underneath the armrest so i believe that additional port sends some sort of data i'm not sure i'm not sure so we're just uh, figuring out as we go okay so what do i do with this okay Move it out okay i think this should be it all right so this is actually the back of the old head unit so let me show you the connector it's a connector is filthy and the back here is super dusty i probably have to just clean the dust out but you can see right here this is the connector you just have to pull this tab out it's a clip basically pull this out and then it ejects the connectors as well so very nice design right here very simple all right guys so for the installation of the new head unit it should be simple i just plug in this connector plugging back this cable right here i believe it will still fit because you can see the clip right here hopefully and then we should be able to power this new head unit up all right so i actually managed to get the radio working because the socket wasn't actually plugged in correctly i wonder where is the apple car play because i believe there should be apple car play like this very interesting anyways we'll figure that out later but this is actually how you install uh or i should i say replace the radio the head unit on the volkswagen sirocco so I'll be definitely having to screw in the screws back again and then we will put everything back together. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. I hope you guys like this video. If you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one and I'll catch you guys in the next video.